Oh, hello, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. You know I love you, my beautiful Saggies. Um, how are you? So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, Your Indigo Path. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. And thank you so very much for the private readings that you allow me to do with you at yourindigopath.com. So my beautiful ones, this is going to be your love forecast uh, for May 1st through the 15th, 2016. So you guys have a really good two weeks coming up. Some of you are going to be a little tired, uh, but you're going to be okay. It's retrograde. Just remember that. But for some of you, I'm really excited because you've, you're passing a phase. You're going into another phase. So congratulations. So in your first position, you have the Six of Swords. Um, this is you in the now. So now would mean now till probably, depends on your timeline, could be uh, from now to a week. It just kind of depends on your timeline. But you'll know that it's you because it'll resonate. Okay, so you have the Six of Swords. This tells me that you are finally coming out of that phase that you've been in. So let me just be very clear. You guys went in a phase and then you worked through that phase and then you were in another phase and now you've come a long way. You're in another phase. I don't even know if some of you realize it, <clears throat> but you are in the love area. So for some of you, that means you have found someone new. For others of you, you're about to find someone new. And for others of you, you are coming to an understanding with your partner. Okay. Um, whatever this is, you're sort of going out of that. Whatever you were in, you're going out of it and into a new beginning. Okay. Uh, things are going to be more stable around you. Um, you're just going to feel better. You're going to feel more calmer. Yeah. So congratulations. Now what's crossing you is the death card. The death card tells me that you've, you're ending the one relationship or you're ending the one phase um, and you're moving to the next phase. For some of you, you're ending <clears throat> this, you're, you're with someone, but you're ending that phase with that person and moving into the next phase with that person. For others of you, um, wherever you are, you're moving forward and you're going to feel that. You're going to see evidence of that in the love area. So congratulations. Um, in your third position... The reason I say this is because some of you are going to have somebody coming back too. So in your third position, I feel like this was you. Um, you were being your your true self. You were doing what it is that you do best. And that is to be independent, to be focused. Because you can do that in your work sometimes. But in your love area, you get confused with it. But I feel like in your love area, you were being very directed. You were understanding what you wanted. You were being very clear and you were trying to manifest it. For some of you, that's with a partner. For others of you, that's not with a partner. Okay. <clears throat> in your fourth position, this is from now till the seventh. Obviously, you know, timelines vary for me. So it depends on where you are on your path and which path you're on as to the timeline. But you'll know it's for you because it will resonate. It'll feel like, yeah, that message is for me. Okay, you'll know. So uh, from now to the seventh and varying, you have Queen of Swords. So for some of you, in this next week, you do have someone coming back. <clears throat> um, and it's this person that's very mental, very cerebral, very like... Um, brave very courageous they're very decisive in the things that they do okay um for others of you with your if you have a partner this is the type of time you will be having with your partner it's fun it's cerebral it's cerebral it's like learning a lot of stuff you're having a good time it's very airy and light fire and air think about it you just blow each other up bigger so uh, you're really enjoying your time with your partner in this next week for others of you This is a new person and again, they would be that type of person Okay, a Queens to me means that it's not necessarily an air sign, but they behave like one Okay, so congratulations in your fifth position. I asked your higher self. What is the one message? They want to come bring through to help you move forward in love and you have the hanging man so for some of you this isn't for all of you but for some of you your higher self wants you to know that the phase that you're in you can get out of that like instantly all you have to do is un 
see you have the chains here, but your hands are free, so you can get out of this phase at any time. All you have to do is direct your path, say what you want, and go for it, because it's right there. The energy is there to help you. All you have to do is step into it. For others of you, um, you're trying to decide about what to do with your partner or a loved one, um, and they're saying take the time that you need, but you can get out of that at any time and make your decision, and they're going to be here to help you, okay? So let me be, let me help clear something up. If your heart is desiring it, then that's probably the way that you want to go, okay? When your ego is desiring it, then that's probably not the way you want to go. When both are in balance together, you know that's the way that you want to go, okay? I hope that makes sense, but that's kind of what your higher self is saying. Um, in your sixth position, you have the Hierophant. So for some of you, you are the person that you meet right now, you're on that path for that ultimate partnership. And the partnership doesn't mean that you have to be together all the time. It's the partner that you want. It's the partner where you know you're together, but you don't have to be by each other all the time. You can still have your independence, okay? Um, for others of you, you are going into this next phase with your partner, and I do see commitment here in that next week. So congratulations. <clears throat> now, in your seventh position, this is your fear. So your fear is kind of what you're doing here. And that is you want to be aware and told the truth about everything. Um, you want all the information before you make a move. You don't want to be in that phase where somebody's lying to you or somebody's not telling you the truth and you didn't see it, right? But remember, you always have the answers within you. See, we can't see what her, where, what her hands are doing. And in her hands is all the information, okay? So remember that a fear is just there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want and focus on what you want, okay? You're intelligent enough, you're intuitive enough, you're a powerful being. You know when things are not right. That's innate within you, okay? Um, in your eighth position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you, but some of you, this is the universe, okay? You have the sun. So in these next two weeks, you will see things manifesting, opening up for you. You will see how when you go down a path, it's so easy. It's not a hard thing anymore. So um, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, if it's a loved one, if it's to be clear with a loved one, whatever that is for you, you will see evidence of it. Things will just happen easily for you, okay? And that's the way your loved one is viewing you as well. They want to take that path with you. They want to be committed to you. They want that with you. So congratulations. Obviously, it's general energy. That's not for everybody, but you'll know because it will resonate. <coughs> It will resonate in your soul, okay? Not just in your heart, not just in your mind or your ego, but in your soul. Um, on In your ninth position, this is... Um, so I'm going to say that this is in your realm. This is These are dreams that you had thought of, maybe you're thinking of now, but hadn't really focused on them. But Spirit wants to tell you that these are in your realm and they can come forth. You have an unexpected opportunity in love that's going to be given to you sometime. Um, it's kind of up to you to get out of this position, okay? As soon as you move forward to this next phase, I feel like this comes, all right? So congratulations. Looks like you guys are really good at manifesting. You're getting better. So in your 10th position, this is the overall outcome of what you'll be dealing with. Um, yeah, in the month... It, it, in these next two weeks so you have the five of cups so there are going to be times in these next two weeks especially for some of you that have someone coming back <clears throat> remember when they come back it's not it doesn't mean that they're here to stay it just means that they're here to remind you of what you want and what you don't want now if they qualify for what you want then absolutely they've changed their vibration and then you can move forward with them but if they haven't then you get very clear about what you should do next, okay? So, Spirit wants to say, we know that you've been through a lot. We know that people have gone over your boundaries. We understand where you're at. But we want you to focus on the good things that you have, the good that you are, the way, 
<coughs> excuse me, the way that you are with people and what you want in the love area. And we'll help you get through that. <coughs> excuse me. We'll help you get through that if you just focus on this vibration instead of focusing on this vibration. But for some of you, um, you'll feel depleted in love. And if you need to put it down for a little while, then it's okay. Put it down. Because some of you need to feel this so that you can get through this. Does that make sense? So you can get to, to the calmer waters. All right, my beautiful ones. I love you, love you, love you. Have a wonderful two weeks. Bye.